attention here to the word of the Lord because this Psalms, the 32nd chapter. I feel, I feel something. Feel just what I need to feel. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Oh, Lord. Lord. Psalms 32, verse 1 yes, Lord. to 5. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First John. First John. Thank you. Thank you. Chapter 1, verse 5 to 9. It's a sad thing, Bishop, to 
have a good shout out and still you sit. Still, you, because it feels good to dance, but it feels better to have victory inside. Can I tell you? There ain't nothing like when you have overcome the evil one that has been holding you, sitting on you, sitting on your money, sitting on your family, sitting on your relationship. The enemy been sitting on a lot of our money. He got to give it up. It's something that I'm sure all of us can relate to. Whether we relate because of others or attentive to getting a checkup, everybody should get a checkup. To stay on top of stuff. And every now and then, people of God, we need to do a spiritual checkup. We need to see, are we still lining up with the purpose of God and the will of God concerning our life? Because let me tell you what happens over time if you don't look out for your spiritual well-being. Your mindset develops something within itself that before you know it, you now doing something that you used to do. Because we now lose focus in the body of Christ. Easily, we lose focus because of what goes on in our life from a day-to-day -day basis. You did run well, but who hindered you? When you start out in this race, you start out gung ho. Still, you said you you start out running, running because you ain't never felt that way. Anybody remember uh -huh. when you first came out yeah. of the wilderness? Right. Oftentimes, I try to reflect on that moment because it keeps me oppressed of where I came from. And how it felt when I come from out of the world and he polished me up and, and gave me a new grip on life. Something about that feeling when you come out of the wilderness. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You had joy. What happened to the joy? that we used to have. I mean, sure. I remember, I remember when I first received God, I, I couldn't sleep at night. Sometimes I would jump out of bed and start dancing because I reflect back where he brought me from. And I could have been a casualty. Could have died without having a relationship with God. Anybody know when you first received him? Yes. And enjoy yes. that feel your soul. Yes. I got a couple of witnesses in here. Yes. I read some cool comment. And the interesting thing is that many of the body of Christ have left their first love. And yet still going to church. Isn't it sad that we can go to church, pay tithe and offering, but yet we have lost the connection of power. Lost the connection of power. Because we're not staying on top of our soul and its need that is that we have to put in something into it daily. You got to look out for your soul. Look, look at your neighbor's a neighbor. You got to look out for your soul. 
You, you, you ain't got but one. 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 And to maintain a constant relationship and connection with God, you have to create a momentum of having a prayer life. And you can't do nothing without prayer. But the objective of the enemy, I want you to just give you some, something to take home with you. A little lunch box or something. The enemy tries diligently to stop us from praying because our power lies within our prayer life. And your prayer life shall keep you on top. But when you stop communicating with God, you now develop another relationship on the side. Yes, yes. 